we change a whole number of the improper fraction, put it over 1, find our LCD, let's make that into 1 fraction, 98 minus 59 over 7. What is our 98 minus 59? How much? Sure, it goes in five times, that's our 35. We got a remainder of four, so we should have five and four sevenths. Five and four sevenths. Let's deal with some negatives. We haven't done that in a while. Let's do negative 4 and 2 sevenths minus 1 and 1 fourth. See how that works out for us. By the way, this method really shines when you do the improper fractions with this sort of thing because you don't have to really worry about the fraction parts of this problem if you change it to an improper fraction. That's nice. So let's do that one together. Uh, how about this? What is this as an improper fraction for me? Can you tell me? Third, okay, so wait, negative how much? Negative 30. Mine is, okay, negative 30 over 7 minus Five what? Perfect. Hey, folks, what do you do every time you see a negative in front of your fraction? Where's that negative go? Oh, oh, good, we're going to do that. And that's going to help us out because when we make this one fraction, the negative will no longer be out front. It'll be on the top of, it'll be on our numerator. We'll be able to use that sign with the addition rule. That'll be nice. So we're going to change this to negative 30 over 7. That'll help us multiply appropriately and add and subtract appropriately. Can you find me the LCD, please? Okay. Good. Okay, left side of the room. What do you multiply this fraction by everybody? Left side. Seven. That wasn't there. One. Seven. Okay, right side of the room. My right. Four. Let's see what these fractions are going to become. Now, we can't lose any signs. That means we can't lose those negative signs. Let's make sure we get that correct. Can you tell me what this fraction is going to be when I do my multiplication? Negative one. Negative, okay, negative 120 over what? 28. Minus, how much is this? 35 over 28. Perfect. Hey, are we so far so good? Doing okay on it? All right. We got the common denominator. What's the next thing we're going to do? Great. If we change it to one fraction, here's why we did the negative on the numerator. So that when we change to one fraction, yeah, we got a denominator of 28. We don't have to worry about a negative out front. This negative now goes with the 120. That's why. So we can make put those numbers together. Negative 120 minus 35. Okay, negative 120 minus 35. We've ch just changed a fraction problem into simply a subtraction problem. You need to be able to do negative 120 minus 35. Now you have two choices. You can either leave that as subtraction and know what that means, moving left on the number line, or you can change it to plus and negative. Remember doing plus and negative? We haven't been showing that in a while, but you can still do it. That's fine. How much is negative 120 minus 155. 35? It's 155? Negative 155. Negative 155? How about we got negative 155 out of that? Okay. Remember, if you'd like, you can still do this. You can still change it to negative 120 plus negative 35. That's still okay. Addition rule says same sign. Add the numbers. Keep the common sign. You get negative 155. Can you translate negative 155 or 28 back into a mixed number fraction? Yes. How many times does 28 go into 155? Five. Five times? Okay, five times, I'm trusting you. 
What's the remainder? Fifteen. Why negative? Because So if I lose the negative, I've done something wrong. Correct? Uh -huh. okay, so all I gotta have make sure that's negative. Now I'm correct. By show of hands, how many people feel okay with what we've talked about so far today? I didn't, didn't you say you could do the way where you just like try to find the LCD from the beginning and then go across whatever? I did. Yeah, that's that didn't work out for me. It doesn't work unless you unless you borrow. Yeah, I didn't yeah. see it. Because I was like I was like, yeah, I got it after like two steps. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. Is that if, if you if you do the other way, there's a lot of little little tricks you have to do. I'm saving you. I will on your on your own if you want to come see me. Um, I'm saving you a lot of little tricks by just changing to improper fractions and using the same old things. So yes, you deal with bigger numbers, but you always get the right answer. I'd rather have you get the right answer than learn another way. Personally, that's what I would rather teach you. If you'd like to learn the other way, I will be glad to help you out with that. But you need to come see me on your own. I'm not going to be showing that in this classroom, okay? Or your book will show it to you as well. It's a perfectly good explanation in your book. I'm going to give you two on your own. If you're going to look the, use the book way or you can use this other way, though, this answer is going to come out funny for you unless you really know what you're doing. That's the problem. That's the problem. I'm going to give you two examples. Let's work through that. If you need my help, come ask me or I'll be coming around. You just ask me. Do you want to see that the other way? I can show that to you, I guess. We got time. Yeah, it's like so yeah, wrong. I do. Okay. If you want to do this the other way, there's two methods. You have the vertical method and the horizontal method. I prefer the horizontal method, that way you don't have to line them up. What we would do is take negative four and two sevenths and find the L C D from here. Now of course our L C D is still going to be twenty-eight. True? So give me 28. So you have eight twenty-eighths minus one and seven twenty-eighths. You with me so far? Okay. After that, you need to use your addition rule. So negative four and eight twenty-eighths plus negative one and seven twenty-eighths. Addition rule says you add and keep the common sign. So in our case, we would have negative 5 uh, and 15, 28. Well, a lot of people forget to do that. I didn't do a that. A lot of people will do this. A lot of people will subtract this and subtract that. Every single time that will happen. Also, on a problem like, uh, oh, I haven't given you one like that yet. Huh? Yeah, that would be like this one. You see, on this problem, if you try to leave this alone, sure, a lot of people know how to do that way. It's fine. You can use that way, but you got to be good every time. If you wanted to leave this as whole numbers, this is what your book shows you. You can do this. This is fine. It's okay. I'm showing you one way because it works every single time. You just have to know that you can't subtract 14 minus 8. You can't do that because you're going to get 8 and negative 3 sevenths because you, you have a fraction part here. It's just 1 over 1. That'd be the problem. You see, the thing about this is you'd have to change this not 14, but 13 and 7 sevenths minus 8 and 3 sevenths. Then you're okay. Then you can do it. And then you could do 5 and 4 sevenths. That's appropriate. You could do it that way. You have to remember that you, you have to borrow. You have to borrow from those numbers. This is fine when you have a whole number, but it's a little bit tricky when you start getting negative fractions like we would have before. Uh, that's why I'm showing you this way and not worrying about, about these things. But is it possible? Sure. If you know that way, great. Just don't give me the wrong answers. Give me the right answers. If you need a refresher on that, just keep coming and see me. Otherwise, change everything into an improper fraction and stick that way. You okay with this? Okay. Two examples. Let's do six and two <coughs> thirds. Minus twelve and three fourths. I want you to do that one.
I'll be walking around. If you need help, let me know now. We're about to go on the first one here. Okay, let's do this thing. So the first thing we're doing, we're going to change these into mixed number, uh, from mixed number form to improper form. So on this, you're going to get the 18, 19, 20 over 3. And you're going to get 12, 24, 36, 48, what, 51 over 4? Yeah. Now we're going to multiply by the appropriate things in order to get an LCD out of this. What is our LCD supposed to be? 12. Good. So with an LCD of 12, we'll multiply by 3 over 3, 4 over 4, and hopefully you got 80 over 12 minus 153 over 12. Did you make it that far? Yes. Good deal. Now remember that we still use addition rule anytime we see plus and minus. We just have to change minuses into plus and negatives in order to use that. So in our case, we'll have 12, and we'll have 80 minus 153. That's going to give you how much? Negative, negative.